All right, let's talk about wire gauges and amperage. It's pretty straightforward how these two work together. All wires have a wire gauge. A gauge number is just any random number assigned to a thickness of wire. Okay, it's just a random number. Here is a here is a wire gauge. This is how wire gauges look like. Uh, this one says uh, sheet metal. Uh, sheet metal gauge but don't worry about it all wire gauges look the same just different numbers are on it the numbers are also one two three and four but uh, and 20 and 33 and whatever but uh, just the sizes are a little bit different it's like it's like British shoe sizes versus American shoe sizes you know uh, human feet are human feet the numbers are just a little bit different but it's the same idea so uh, you can see uh, zero being the biggest wire the wire would need to go through here through the gap and you would check its diameter so here is 14 to house wire here is standard uh oh I'm sinking here is standard wire and if I wanted to check its gauge it's uh, it's not gonna be 14 but I would need to check it how it passes through the gap there there it passes through 15 because this is a sheet metal gauge not a wire gauge but but it's close enough it doesn't go through 16 or 17 or any of the smaller ones it goes through 15 there so but this is 14 gauge wire because that's why I said uh, the numbers are off on it and when you when here is a circle I'm gonna go Mm, what will be the circle? I'm just gonna do a circle like so. That's gonna be, we'll present it's a circle. So the wire gauge measures the diameter of the circle. Alright? The diameter there passing through one of the one of the slots. Oh sorry this way. There. That's how it goes. Alright? So those are wire gauges, and these numbers are pretty. They they go in order, and you can see we're going from biggest to smallest little slot there. For gauge 30, 31, 36 is the smallest, thinnest sheet metal gauge here. That should be for a baking foil or even something even thinner than that. It relates to the diameter. The diameter needs to pass through the slot here okay so that's that here just I have just some samples here this one is gauge 8 wire for your stove or cooker depending on where you're sitting and watching this here is just some extension cord for your garden tools and it's got 16 gauge and it's called medium duty whereas the 8 gauge whereas the 8 gauge carries 40 amps easily or it's rated to carry 40 amps this one also only carries uh, 16 gauge is only rated to 13 amps and it has to do with the diameter the actual physical size of the wire you see the number gauges sorry the gauge numbers go up from 16 to 8 and the amperage going up from 13 to 40 because the smaller the gauge number you can see one two three four these are the thickest wires okay whereas the 15 gauge wire was the skinniest wire so that's how these uh, work in a circle not on, not so much the diameter is what's important but the and it's gonna be ugly but the area of the circle is what's important because the definition of amperage is tied to the area of the circle or the size of its diameter and if you remember there I'll take you off the tripod if you remember the definition of amperage has to do with number of electrons or coulombs of electrons passing through the wire and if the wire represent is represented by this 
uh, two lane road then this would be a thin wire if this was a four lane road it would be a thicker wire and if it's a six or eight lane highway it would be an even thicker wire now little roads will let through few cars and slowly whereas big roads let through a lot of cars and and at a higher speed so thin wires will allow you to get fewer number of electrons through fewer number of electrons fewer coulombs of electrons per second coulombs per second is the meaning of amperage like this one this is I don't know 24 gauge whatever something super skinny for uh, security cameras and such okay this wire or or this one even though it's a big chunky cable but the individual wire strands in it are very small look at the look at the cross section of that circle like it's it's, it's super small I can't even barely get the camera to focus on it it's such a small cross section of a circle whereas this one is significantly significantly bigger cross section all right so as the area of the circle goes up it lets more and more electrons through more and more coulombs of charge means higher and higher amperage going through okay so skinny wire few amps big wire big amps